calculate batter rails, we use a live section tool. But first of all, we need to ensure we've got an alignment string open. So we do this by selecting one from the string down box. This allows us to produce sections for an alignment. So we open live sections and pull a section through the design. And we select the pre calc batter rails button. First of all, we need to specify the offset for the batter rail and also the travel height in cut and the travel height in fill. We also have the option to specify a vertical or a perpendicular traveller. So to determine where the batter rails are going to be generated, we can either select chainage range, so we can enter a start chainage, an end chainage and also an interval. Is at 10 meters. The other option is a list of changes which allows us to open up an ASCII file with some predetermined changes. So select OK. So now we need to select the string that's closest to the batter rail. So we do this by clicking in the live section window on the string we require. Then we select the string that's furthest from the batter rail and select finish. So the software calculates our batter rails in our specified change range. To view the batter rails, we can select the view batter rails button and this shows each batter rail calculated. So we have the coordinates for the front peg as well as the level, the traveller type that we selected, whether it's in cut or fill, and also the slope distance and the grade. Close that. So we can add to this list by generating some more batter rails. So we'll do this again for the other side of the road. Uh, chainage range and once again select the string closest to the batter rail and then the one furthest. So once again we open the view batter rail so we can see the batter rail on the left side of the road and the batter rails on the right side of the road. So we can now export these to an ASCII file in the required format for your travel station or GPS. So to do this, from the file drop down menu, we select export and ASCII. And we have some predefined formats, or you can create your own format and choose the data that you require to produce an ASCII file that works with your equipment.